Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Talk channel on YouTube. We have a really interesting problem here. Uh, we're given a polynomial in, in its factored form, and we want to solve this graphically. Okay, this is a very important as we graph the polynomial and be able to know which of the region on the domain is positive and negative. And later on, when we're doing calculus, be able to find where the inflection points and local minimum and local maximum. So this is a really important topic here. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you do is divide your domain into different points. And the breaking points is solved by each one of them setting to zero. Okay, so we have x equal to 0. Obviously, x cannot be equal to 0 for this whole thing to be bigger uh, e bigger to 0 because 0 times anything equal to 0. So we're going to put an open circle here to signify that we cannot take x equal to 0. And the next point you have is x equal to minus half and x equal to positive half. Okay. Once again, I just solved a zero for the, them, and I got those points. And then what you do is you draw the dotted line. So our domain gets split into four parts, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then we're going to test each one of the domain to see if the function itself is positive or negative. As you're getting more and more experience, then it will get easier. At first, it looks complicated, but it's actually not. So well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this term 1, term 2, and term 3. Let's go through each term. I picked x equal to minus 1 as my testing point, and I circled it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, plug x equal to minus 1 into this equation. First term, I'm going to have a minus I'm not even going to bother with the value because all I really want to care is is the whole thing after it's multiplied. Is it greater than zero or is it less than zero? Okay. So the first term obviously is going to be a minus sign. Minus one times two, which is minus minus one again. I will have another minus sign. Okay. And next one I have a minus two plus one. Since this chunk is bigger. Okay, so I'm going to retain to be a minus sign here. So the here, this whole function is less than zero. Could I have a minus times, a minus times, minus. I have three of them. Okay, let's pick another one on this side. That's easy. Uh, let's pick a test point of positive one. First term is a positive. Second term is also positive. So long x is bigger than half, this one is ensured as a positive number. So is this one. Okay, so I have a positive, positive, positive. Therefore, f of x is bigger than 0 on this region. So, so far, so good. Now, let's pick the points in between. Minus quarter seems to be a good one. Okay, so the first one is negative because this x is equal to minus quarter. That's a negative sign. This one, okay, if you don't see it, it's no big deal. Just write it out. If you see it, great. Uh, this will be a negative because 2 times minus quarter minus 1, I don't care about the value specifically. All I know is it's going to be a negative because this chunk is negative minus 1. It's going to be still negative. Okay. Next thing, I have 2x plus 1. If you don't see it, again, write it up, plus 1. Okay. This one is a negative, but it's smaller than 1. Okay. This one is a positive 1. So I have a minus minus and a positive. So this function here is bigger than 0 as well. Okay, let's go on to the next one. I'll pick a quarter over here. For the first term, of course, it's a positive. Okay. Second term, if you don't see it, test it out. Minus 1. Obviously, I have a minus sign here because whatever I multiply here, unless I get to beyond half, I'm not going to get a positive thing. So I'll have a negative term for the next one. And then the one more to go. 2 times quarter, now this time a plus one. Obviously, I'm going to get a plus sign here. Okay, Plus times minus times plus, this f is going to be less than zero. So my solution is going to be in this chunk and this chunk. Okay, So graphically, where is it going to be bigger than zero? Between minus half and zero, Okay, exclusive of the points, and half and above. Okay, So it's half and positive infinity, that fits. Okay. And also this chunk fits, minus half to zero. Okay, chunk here, chunk here. All right, hope this helped. Have a confident day.